Hi, McGowan Artist. This week we're going to talk about the artist Jim Dine. He is one of my favorite artists to talk about this time of year because we are near Valentine's Day and he does a lot of art, lots of different styles of art, but he often uses a heart as his main theme and focus in some of his paintings. Jim Dine is an American artist and he was born in 1935 in Cincinnati, Ohio. He, um, so he's currently 85. He is known as being a pop artist, which pop is short for popular. He tries to take popular images that are happening at the moment and um, create, create art that way. He also was a drawer. He, was, he liked to draw, paint, and make sculptures. But today we're going to talk about his paintings. I'm showing you some of his paintings that have a heart symbol in them. Notice all the colors and the way you can see little marks from his brush to create different colors and almost like texture in his paintings. And we're going to do our own version of that today. Now, there's two of his fav favorite two of his most famous heart paintings. One um, has one single heart in the middle, and the other one has four hearts. So I'm going to show you how to do both of them, and I'm going to let you pick today which one you want to do. So if you take a white piece of paper, and I'm going to bring this down, and for this, I am going to draw one heart in the middle of the paper. Now because I'm doing a single heart, I don't want the heart to be really small. I want it to fill my page. So I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to draw one large heart. You might not be able to see that all that well right now, but that's just my guide. But I'm going to paint this today, and I'm going to use beautiful, bright colors. Now, at home, you can use whatever you have. If you have paint, that's awesome. If you have just crayons or markers, feel free to do the same idea by just um, using your markers or crayons to make splots or dabs of color all around. To do a single heart, I'm going to start off by getting my paintbrush wet and I'm going to choose a bright color paint. And I'm going to go over that heart that I just drew with my pencil. Now, I'm going to fill my heart with different dabs of paint. Now, I'm not going to paint splatter. That'd be kind of messy, although it would be fun. And I'm going to try to do some colors inside and make a few different colors on the outside just to make it unique. But you can decide what you want to do. So I'm going to take, since I already have pink on my brush, I'm going to paint blotch. See how I'm just setting it down and making dabs of, or blotting, of dots. I'm not pounding my brush. Or I could just use the tip of my brush to make smaller dots. But I'm being gentle, I'm not being sloppy, and I'm not pounding or not taking care of my brush. Now I'm going to rinse my brush off and I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to do a... I happen to have a turquoise color here, but again, you can use whatever you have at home. It's really just the technique I want you to really look at here with me. And I'm going to add more colors in this by blotting them. I'm kind of trying to make it a little even when I do this. And now, I did pink and blue on the inside, and I could you could definitely add more, and I might later. On the outside, I'm going to choose different colors, so it'll make this stand out, and so that I really see the heart. So since I did pink and blue, I'm going to or turquoise, I'm going to stay away from it, and I'm going to do a green, got like a light lime green here. It'll still kind of go, but it definitely will look different. This green's kind of light. By making blots on my paper. I'm 
It also shows a little texture if you use the tip of your brush. You can make your blots look a little different. So I've got green. I'm going to do a little purple and see how that looks. So it's giving a little bit more color. Now again, you can use crayons or markers and just color in spots and dots to fill your painting. But this is one way to do a Jim Dine inspired single heart painting. Now I'm going to show you how to do a multiple one. Same idea. I'm going to take my paper, but I'm going to fold it in half twice. And open it up. And in each section, I'm going to create a heart. And they don't have to be perfect. I think sometimes imperfection makes it perfect. And I'm going to do the same idea. I've got four hearts, one in each corner. And you can decide, do you want those hearts to be the same? Do you want them to be a little different? So I'm going to go over those hearts with a color. And remember, you're the artist, so after you do your hearts, you can choose your colors or however you want to do it. And now, I'm also, this time though, I'm going to go over that line. I'm going to make it kind of curved so you doesn't where they folded it. And then, using whatever colors I want, I'm going to lightly tap in here with the tip of my brush to make my painting. Now I'm going to do a little different here. I'm going to make two of these the same and then I'm going to switch it up and do a different color inside the other one. And then I'm going to have, since I'm kind of filling these in a little bit tighter, then I'm just for fun going to go ahead and make some that are spread out just to create the background a little bit more interesting with another color, but not as close together. It's just what I like for my style. So it doesn't look like I ignored the background. So here's a quick example of a Jim Dine heart painting with four hearts. So for today, I want you to create either a single heart or a multiple heart drawing or painting. And I want you to use some blotting, which you could do that with a brush, or you can even just take a marker and gently tip it, the tip of it, or crayons and make little dots. And I can't wait for you to show me your Jim Dine inspired heart.